to Uneasy TV is in your ears. So play close attention. Relax. Let me ease your mind. Sit back and recline. Enjoy this ride. I'm about to get deep. You're now tuned in to Don Easy TV. Don Easy TV. I've seen some crazy stuff in my apartment building back in the days. Now it's cool, but back in the days, it used to pop. Story time! Yo! I'll never forget, man. So, one morning, I'm just minding my business. You know, about to go to work. And um, I go downstairs, and this dude, you know, this is when the new... Chrysler's Impalas, you know them, what them things called them, them, them Chrysler's, them Chrysler's with them rims, remember they had them bomb rims, them Chrysler 300's with them rims, this dude got this bomb Chrysler, it was tight, and they came with these dope rims, I don't know if they still do them no more, but them Chrysler 300's, they was coming with them dope rims. So I'm walking down, I got an underground, we got underground parking, right? So I'm going down to, you know, go to my car to go to work. I look at this dude car, no cap. His car was sitting, <laughs> his 300 was sitting on milk crates. Old school milk crates. I'm talking about them milk crates with a DJ, you know, you, you know, get to, get to, get to put the records in and stuff. <laughs> All four tires was sitting on milk crates. No cap. No cap. So I was like, dang. So I'll go back upstairs. And there go behold the dude. He getting out of his apartment. And he like, what, 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 man? Why you looking at me like that, man? Because let me do a backstory. Reason why he was looking like, acting me while I'm looking at him like that. Because he had a problem of me and his girl corresponding. And I know I was wrong, and she was wrong too. But, you know, we were just speaking, and he didn't like it. You know, and I knew not to speak, you know, to another man's woman. But, damn, she was fine, and she was speaking. What the hell I was supposed to do, not speak? Anyway, he called us speaking one day, and he got mad and checked her, and then it caused a little rift between me and him. Fast forward, so I see the dude go back, you know, I'm like, and he looking at me, I'm like, hey, man, you, you seen your car? What, 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 what you talking about, man? What you talking about, man? Man, I, I just, I just suggest that you just go down there and look at your car, bro. Oh, man. I ain't out, I, man, he walked down, we walked down together, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. They stole my rims. They stole my rims. Oh, man. Oh, man. I bet you it was them fools across the street. I bet you it was them fools across the street. Because it was some fools back in the day. This was about like 11 years ago. It used to be some fools across the street. They used to be hanging out about, about 10 deep, 10, 20 deep. And you know what they was doing, hanging out 10, 20 deep. Oh, man, I'm going to get them fools. I'm going to get them fools. They stole my rims. <laughs> this dude wasn't about to do nothing. He wasn't about to do nothing. It was all capped. I was like, damn, this building is off the chain. Then, maybe like a few years after that, maybe like a couple of years, two or three years after that, man, minding my business again, minding my business again, going down to the underground parking lot. This dude, oh man, this dude had a nice white, I think it was a Lexus. He had a white Lexus, clean, brand new. Rims, everything looking tight. His his car wasn't sitting on milk crates, but but <laughs> man, I couldn't believe what I saw. His car was spray painted all from the top to the bottom on the side. It said herpes, herpes, herpes on both sides. Herpes. I was like, damn, who did this? So I go back up. Everybody like, you seen it? I said, yeah, I seen it. And then they say, yeah, man. Oh, boy, you know, he kicked it with this one girl in the building. And she allegedly contracted, you know, herpes. And she blamed it on him. 
I was like, word. It was like, yeah. Let me give you a backstory on this dude. This dude used to dress like he was a pimp or whatever. He was like a, a wannabe pimp. He thought he was hard, whatever. And he 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 everybody being regular clothes, he being the only one standing in the building with, with some pimp clothes on. <laughs> so I guess he spit his game to this girl in the building. And um, I don't know, they did their thing. And allegedly, allegedly. He gave her the herpes, man. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know. I don't know. He said he didn't have it. She said he did. And then um, the manager kicked her out for spraying up his car. And uh, yeah, man, that underground parking, man, we didn't have no cameras back in the days, man. And dude, that proved we needed some cameras. <laughs> this building was off the chain. That lady sprayed that man car up saying herpes. Woo! And that's not it. Since we didn't have cameras, dude, somebody was jacking the batteries out of the damn vehicles. They knew that if you didn't have an alarm that you couldn't hear. So they went after the cars and didn't have alarms and they was jacking the batteries. I'm talking about at least twice a week, man. Twice a week, somebody battery was getting jacked, man. Luckily, they never took mine, man, because I had a bucket and I guess whoever was doing it, I guess I was cool with them or something. There wasn't nobody I knew, but I guess they liked me or something. They never touched my car. So... One day, I'm coming back from work. They got the building blocked off with police and everything. They got, they, wait, 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 wait. Let me take it back. They got the whole perimeter from like two blocks blocked off. You can't even drive down the street. I had to park like a block down from the street. So I asked the officer, I said, man, what's going on? They said, yeah, we um looking for these guys that have been stealing batteries in this apartment building on Yukon. I said, which one? And they told me the name. I said, that's my building. I was like, Good job, officer. <laughs> That's when I was down with the officers, man. When you become a victim of a crime, well, I wasn't a victim, but I feel sorry for my neighbors that was a victim of crime. I was happy they caught these dudes. So these dudes, they got caught by one of the neighbors, and the neighbors, you know, called the police, and the police came, and they ran inside the building, I heard, and I heard they jumped some of them, got out the building, and hopped the wall, but anyway, this one dude, he got caught in the building, in the damn laundry room, he got arrested, and man, it was about four or five of them, man, and then it turned out the backstory of this dang, these damn break-ins, you know, in the, in, in, in the apartment building, of course, of course, it was an inside job, one of the um, neighbor's son was cool with these dudes and they did a backstory and yeah man they had a damn battery car jacking battery syndicate going on man and that they, they wasn't just targeting our building that was hitting all the buildings they was getting all kind of batteries man apartment drama stories non-stop entertainment non-stop drama don easy tv subscribe like comment to don easy tv yeah